We were talking about the M&A deal activity for 2013. HV Harish of Grand Thornton is back with us. Harish, I was asking you about the volume of deals that we've seen this year. Would you say it was tepid both in volume and value terms? Well, I think uh, we've reached some uh, uh, moderation in the growth of the M&A market. Uh, we've reached on an average about 1,000 uh, deals a year over the last three years, and we haven't been able to cross that. Values have uh, dropped uh, probably in line with the uh, general economic condition. But there are segments which are uh, looking quite good. I think the story of the year, in my opinion, would be the growth in private equity activity. Uh, we've seen a growth from about uh, $7 billion to $10 billion, uh, average deal size going up from 18 to $25 million, uh, in spite of a, uh, shall we say, weak uh, economic outlook, in spite of the depreciation of the uh, rupee, uh, private equity continues to hold. Uh, Cross-border, uh, um, you know, we are seeing larger outbound deals uh, compared to previous years, though the number of deals have uh, fallen. So it's a clear sign that India Inc. is again looking out to invest. Inbound has uh, sort of uh, slowed down. Uh, sure. We aren't seeing so many. The big ones are really Unilever and the recently announced uh, Glaxo. Right. You know, I, I was just going to come to that, uh, Harish. Uh, some of these deals we've seen are largely in the public market. From what, uh, what I understand, you're saying that you're seeing some activity in the private equity space. But some of the right. private equity guys that we speak to say, look, there are deals. I mean, but uh, yeah. there's always a problem of price because existing promoters don't want to exit at, at the price because they're waiting for the markets to recover. Uh, secondary PE exits are also becoming extremely difficult. The IPO market is dead. Uh, how then would you look at the PE market in 2014? Correct. Well, I think if I look at PE market in 2013, like I said, uh, the values uh, and volume has uh, increased, and it shows that uh, investors are still uh, looking uh, positively at India. Uh, clearly, IPO market is there, as you pointed out, but there are exits happening uh, at the strategic exit level. And if you see, over the last few years, there aren't uh, uh, other sources of uh, funds for promoters, so they are easing up a little bit on their valuation expectation. There are challenges for the private equity, uh, significant challenges, but that hasn't stopped them from uh, uh, increasing investments. They're looking at things like buyout, uh, you mentioned Hexaware, so uh, they, are, they are adopting their strategies, but they continue to uh, have faith and confidence and increase their investment in this country. If you look, uh, so they probably are taking a long-term view uh, rather than a short-term view on the market. Sure, but if if you look at uh, individual sectors, which sectors do you believe uh, is uh, are ripe for M and A activity? Yes. Well, I think the classic uh, sectors that are uh, active in M and A uh, and continue to be are uh, the soft sectors, what I would call the healthcare, pharma, the uh, technology sector. Um, and they continue to be dominate both the private equity as well as the M&A space. Uh, we aren't seeing so much activity in the M&A uh, in the manufacturing space, uh, which really uh, needs to pick up uh, significantly.